My name is Carrie Wilkerson. I am the author of The Barefoot Executive. I have a couple of other titles coming out when I can nail myself down and get them done. I know, I know. Um, I am the mom of four kids ranging in age from 10 to 21, two adult kids, two kids still in elementary and middle school. And I have worked at home for myself through all of the kids. So from the adoption of my oldest two siblings to the birth of the youngest two, I have worked at home. So this can be done, mamas, with newborns, with pregnancies, with toddlers, with special needs, with crazy schedules, with a husband that travels 90% of the time. This can be done. I want to give you a three-step marketing plan. And within those three steps, I'm gonna give you the tactical how-to. This is not a hype video, that's not what I do. This will be encouraging and motivational, but I'm gonna give you some really strong tactical how-tos so that you can walk away and implement these things. This is also not a sales video. Yes, I will tell you that we're opening up my group coaching later this week, so you wanna be sure and get on the email list at kerrywilkerson.com, kerrywilkerson.com. If you go to kerrywilkerson.com forward slash seven day, the number seven D-A-Y, you can actually get seven days of free video coaching. You can have like my voice in your head all the time for free, plus really cool handouts. So get on the email list and I'll let you know when we're opening up the coaching program. But today I wanna teach you, I wanna train you. So this will be a little longer than normal and I've got three steps. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the three steps. Be seen, that's your first point. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute, but write it down, be seen, be heard, be heard, write that down. And number three is be helpful. Be seen, be heard, be helpful. And I'm gonna tell you how to on all of these. Now, these will all apply no matter what business you're in, whether you're in direct sales or network marketing or a coach or an info marketer. I see several service providers here, website designers, virtual assistants, financial service salespeople. I know I have a lot of mortgage brokers that follow me. If you are in charge of your day, if you are in charge, well, besides the kids, right? If you are in charge of your paycheck, if you're in charge of your productivity, be seen, be heard, be helpful. This is where it is. Okay, when I talk about be seen, what I mean is this. People have to see that you're in business. People have to see what you're up to. That means social media. That means email. That means speaking. If you want to go speak to local events, small events. Guys, I do the welcome at my church every week. I am a volunteer. I get two minutes on stage every week. But guess what? I'm seen. I'm seen. Now, I didn't start that because it was part of my marketing plan, but the truth is it works into my marketing plan. If you want people to know you're in business, you have to be seen. Listen, here's some hardcore, tough love truth. You ready? It is not anyone else's job to remember that you're in business. It is nobody else's job to remember. You say, but I've already, I had my launch. I sent out an email, I gave them my card, I've told them before, stop it. One time does not make you a professional. One time does not make you a CEO. It is not their job to remember. When your mouth is open, your business is open. Stop being embarrassed about, about it. Stop worrying what people are gonna say. You have to be seen. That means social media posts. Now, we not every single post, y'all. But still, it needs to be in your profile. You need to show some pictures of you and your product or you and your clients or testimonials. You have to be seen. You need to be writing some articles or blogging or tweeting things. You have to be seen. Now, how did that happen before I had social media? Because I grew two businesses before social media. Well, I did that with an email list. I started collecting emails and built an email list. I also went and spoke for free all over the place because I wanted to be seen. I wanted to be seen. I wanted people to know I was in business and know what I was doing and know what I was about. So stop thinking people should just remember, oh, they know I do gifts. They'll call me when they need something. Nope, because other people are being seen more than you. Be seen, number one. Stop trying to be invisible. Stop thinking business is gonna manifest itself on your doorstep. Now. 
Yes, there are stories of that happening. Yes, at some point you'll pick up some momentum. Yes, that will occasionally happen, but you cannot build a business on exceptions. You have to build it on rules. You have to build it on what works and you have to keep showing up. Now, here's another tough love point about being seen. Those of you, <laughs> I'm trying to filter how rough I want to be. Those of you that are sitting at home in your yoga pants with your messy bun and trying to say that you can work in your pajamas all day and you're hiding out and you even have to hide from the UPS man when he drops something on your porch. Why? Why would you have big results in your business when you are not willing to be seen? Some of you are too afraid to be seen. Maybe you're not okay with your weight. You're not okay with your look. You're not okay with your health. You're not in alignment with your product. Maybe you're just lazy. Can I just say that? Some days we have lazy. I don't feel super worky today, but I got up and got dressed and put on my lips anyway. I don't feel super worky, but I'm doing it because there are bills to pay because making money matters because of the causes I support, because of the people that I support. So get up, get dressed, and get to work. And let me give you a little tip. If you're not feeling it, maybe wear something without elastic for the love. Get up, get some mascara on, and pretend you're in business until you feel like you're in business. You have to be seen, so you have to start showing up on a regular basis. So maybe that means you set your goal for two days a week you get dressed. You know, if you got dressed before you dropped off the kids at school, nobody's gonna be mad that you're not in your pajamas. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off of that, get your lips on, get out the house. Now I did go pick up my kids from school barefoot yesterday, but I was fully dressed, but I ran out of the house <clears throat> ran out of the house, was just going to go through the drive through and come back home. But I was fully dressed, so I know they were probably very confused because I had a fully made face and clothes and that I was barefoot. Oh, well. Read the book. Barefoot Executive is what I'm about. Okay, so number one, you have to be seen. Be in business. I, I saw a great video by a realtor coach the other day, Travis Robertson, who's a friend of mine in California. He said, you know, I get it that people don't want to do cold calls. Nobody likes that. I get that people don't want to do that. But the fact is not calling your friends, family, or existing customers or database, that's just silly. You don't want to be in business. You want to play. You want a discount. You want to just say you're doing something. You want the hope of it, but you don't want the hustle of it. And not that I think hustle is a long-term strategy, but come on, you got to hustle till you build some muscle and then you're going to have some momentum. Somebody write that down in the chat box. That was good. Uh, work some hustle till you get some muscle and then that breeds momentum. That's when business starts showing up, but you got to go get it first. Okay, so number one, be seen. Number two is be heard. Now there's a difference between being seen and being heard. First of all, as a mom of four, I would tell you that none of my four are alike. They all learn differently. They all absorb differently. They all obey differently for the love. They're all very different. And as a trained teacher and someone who did some time in the trenches of high school and junior high, not every kid learns the same. Some of us learn by seeing, some of us learn by hearing. Now, this will be a shock to you, but did you know approximately 10% of your Facebook friends or your Facebook audience are even seeing your posts? And a lot of them are seeing it this way. This is how they watch Facebook, they scroll. So it's not enough just to be seen, you need to be heard too. What does that mean? You have to be talking to people. You have to have a voice in their head. People need to know you're a person, not just a business. And, and let me explain. It's harder to disconnect from a relationship than it is from a business. You gotta personalize yourself. A lot of you will leave today and you won't be able to get my voice out of your head. I apologize, don't apologize. Sorry, not sorry. Sometimes my voice is gonna pop into your head at the most inopportune moments. You're gonna have dreams where I'm fussing at you. You're gonna have dreams where I'm encouraging you. You're gonna hear me later when you go to reach for an unhealthy snack and you're gonna say, mm, Carrie's asking me if this is for my goals or not, if this is getting me closer to or further away. All right, so be heard means, should you be doing some live video? Should you be doing some podcasts? Should you be leaving some voicemails for people? Should, how should you be getting your voice out there? That doesn't mean just being heard literally. It also means having your own voice. Now listen. Pet peeve, here we go, tough love again. 
pet peeve is you posting the same thing everybody else in your industry market or company is doing. Copy and paste, post, and just put your own little emojis at the top. Y'all stop that. Be your own brand, be your own voice. Here are some things about me that you know. I love coffee time. It's not about the coffee, it's about the time. I love orange. I love orange, it's the happiest color. I drive an orange car, I carry an orange phone. I've got orange pots and pans, orange washer and dryer, orange rug, I love it, it makes me happy. And you also know I'm an unapologetic Southern mama who's a little bit sassy, right? You know those things. You know I'm unapologetic about my faith. Those things make me me, and I'm not afraid to be heard about those things. So I'm not just talking about my business. I'm connecting people to me, my voice, my Southern, my style, my story. <clears throat> people don't need to hear everybody else's success stories when you're talking about your business. People need to know about you. Why are you in your business? <clears throat> Why are you doing what you are doing? What makes you different? What sets you apart? Stop hiding. That goes back to number one, guys. You're hiding because you think your story isn't good enough or big enough or successful enough or there enough. Just invite them on the journey with you. You have to be heard. Your voice, your pictures of your trunk organizing products, your story about the supplements that you're taking, your story about your kids with special needs or your kids and your fun stories, your stories about your parents that you're taking care of. Guys, they need to hear you. So be seen, be heard. Um, I, I do need you to know that the more you connect like this, the harder it is for them to disappear. Uh, back in the day when I was in a sales force, I would have people call me and say, oh, I've been looking for a new rep. I don't even remember the name of my old one. How does that even happen? I don't even understand how you can just disconnect like that. Somebody's not being heard. Stop hiding out, waiting for stuff to fall. The last I heard, that hasn't worked since the Israelites left Egypt. They had manna that fell, but since then, y'all, we've had to work for it. So quit waiting for it just to fall. Let's get to planting. Let's think of a harvest mentality instead of manna from heaven mentality. Got it? Be seen, be heard, be helpful. Be helpful. Now this one may surprise you. Be helpful doesn't mean being on every committee, signing up for every sign up genius, volunteering at everything. That's not at all what I'm talking about. I'm talking about stop being selfful and be helpful. You can also be helpful in social media by posting links to other resources, it doesn't always have to be about your stuff. I've been posting the last few days about virtual assistants, project manager, managers, and I opened up this webcast talking about the surprise gift company. I don't earn a commission off any of that. I just want to help you as business owners do better. And that helps you with what I consider the Oprah effect, right? Oprah. Guys, Oprah is an expert at sharing resources and being helpful. That's how she's built her entire empire, is being helpful. Not because she was an expert in any one topic. She was an expert in finding resources and being helpful. How can you be helpful? How can you encourage people? And no matter what your market, if it's oils or nutrition, or bags, or coaching, or web services, how can you be helpful to people with a certain problem that they have? And that doesn't always mean pitching your stuff. But you could say, here's what I pack when I'm traveling to help me stay on my eating plan. Maybe this will be helpful for you. If you watch me on Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram, you will see me do that a lot. Be seen, be heard, be helpful. Now, here's something about being helpful that maybe you haven't thought about and being helpful is training people even on how to use your product or training people on why they need your product. Tips, training tips, tips on did you know this uh, medicine does this whereas this alternative does this. Training tips and tools. Tools can be resources from other people but training tips and tools. If you want to remember that little trifecta right there. Those are great ways to be helpful. I know that Tamsin Webster, who's a speaker coach and also a great speaker in and of her own right and trains TEDx speakers, 
she does she shares her research and the articles that she finds on her Facebook. I find her incredibly helpful. And so as a result, I recommend people to her all the time. And I don't make a dime from that. I don't get any affiliate commission or kickback. I just love to, to help other people by sending them to somebody helpful. But here's something else that's helpful that you're overlooking. And here's something else that's helpful that a lot of you are missing. And if you were to integrate this one helpful, it would change everything. Are you ready? Offers. It is not helpful to say you're in business and then not connect the dots with an offer. How can you help me? How can you help me? Okay, great, yes, I need a business coach, but how can you help me? Okay, great, I have this ration, you have this thing. How do I get it? Guys, offers are extensions of your help. It's the most helpful thing you can do when you're in business. If you're offering a solution, and if you're not offering a solution, what the heck are you doing in business? If you're not offering a solution to somebody's problem, so whether you're in organizing products, you're offering a solution to their chaos, to their time suck, to their stress, to their befrazzlement. I know, that's a new word. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay, so if you're in nutrition, maybe you're helping with a skin condition or you're solving a chronic pain issue or a craving issue or a weight loss issue, what are you solving for people? And if you are solving something, it is not helpful for you to keep it to yourself. That's selfish. Being helpful means letting people know how they can do business with you. What? If you're a coach, let them know how you can help. If you're a project manager, if you're a website designer, if you're a technical services provider, if you're a graphics girl, if you sell oils, bags, makeup, whatever it is, how can you help? The ultimate be helpful is to make offers to your people. That's not selling things, that's solving things. Are we solving problems or not? Do you believe in your product, service, opportunity, company, self or not?